Hi, I'm Pakata12 and today we play with uh, Fluid Simulation and uh, I will uh, walk you through this uh, build I presented uh, last year in May in uh, Berlin and uh, this is hugely inspired by uh, Bruno Imbrizzi tutorial uh, Fluid Simulation in uh, GLSL and uh, I already translated this into uh, TOPS uh, mainly uh, network and you can download uh, here, I will put a link in the description. And uh, today we will uh, play with this uh, uh, fluid. So, um, yeah, this is the, the network, which is um, very similar with uh, Bruno Imbrizzi. In fact, I tried to, to pack uh, each uh, GLSL into a component. I uh, uh, keep the namings also and uh, yeah I will uh, walk you through uh, through this so um, most of the components uh, have the computation with the neighbors so uh, uh, this is the reason for those uh, uh, transforms and we translate uh, the texture uh, left right uh, top and bottom and uh, most of them uh, look uh, similar. The heaviest mat uh, being uh, multiplication and uh, addition. So vorticity, the, the same. I will uh, show you uh, divergence. Okay, it's uh, here again with the neighbors. And uh, in this part, I solved um, the collision with the boundaries. And uh, you see, when the fluids hit uh, the edge, it makes uh, a nice, a nice column. I, I like to say the uh, column capital, like uh, those uh, spirals. Okay. And if we get rid of that and play with the fluid, yeah, it goes outside the, the boundaries, and we achieve this with uh, with four lines in, in the the uh, edges with the colors uh, being the uh, direction to to correct and uh, uh, keep the fluid inside the screen and uh, now uh, let's talk about pressure here so when you compute with the neighbors, you have uh, left, right, top and bottom, so four. If you can uh, split uh, somehow two for the input, uh, two for the output, uh, you, you can subtract somehow what is coming in and what's going out. And that would be the, the pressure. And uh, we have to compute this uh, several times each uh, frame. This is the reason for uh, this number 32 here because uh, those are replicators and we have 32 replicators and uh, each one is solving uh, a little thing uh, over and over so this is the the pressure if we set here uh, the face is to one the liquid uh, looks completely different right and the dynamics uh, uh, also let's go back on 32 so after the gradient uh, nothing too too much uh, advec uh, velocity and advec color uh, they look uh, similar and what i want to to show you this here and uh, this side here are the simulations so the resolution we have a uh, uh, color with it and uh, color height okay the uh, output and then the size for the simulation with it and the height and um, let's have a let's have a look here in the uh, splat okay so we start with a with a constant and uh, this is the sp a splat right so inside i have the mouse coordinates and I subtract from uh, the UV and instead of going with uh, Pythagora and uh, land to with with square and root uh, a dot product uh, goes much better uh, thank you Bruno and uh, we have this nozzle and uh, yeah with this function we taper we, we make the taper 
and in the end we will be thinner okay so let's increase this now we have a, a thinner uh, nozzle okay and i multiply this with the texture here with a uh, uh, noise and now it's a normalized uh, noise because uh, i want to have uh, uh, bright colors and uh, yeah we normalize this and then either we we over uh, or we add now let's see over is this right the add will have some white shadings because uh, of the addition the values goes uh, above one okay and uh, let's have a look here uh, for the velocity inside is the only place where we have GLSL uh, built in this uh, optical flow component and uh, let's just a second to open the door to my cat okay sorry so um, this is the the velocity and uh, yeah let's 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 play with with this a little bit so we have uh, the a splat force now it's one let's uh, have here six uh, obviously uh, the a bigger force let's go back uh, vorticity the ability to make uh, those uh, spirals okay there are much more now for the pressure if we go with one watch what happens with the the, the tank of the fluid okay it moves like like uh, uh, gelatin a little bit and uh, about color diffusion and the color velocity its ability to uh, keep the color and the the velocity if we go color diffusion uh, one uh, yeah the color goes away with zero it stays there for the velocity diffusion uh, one at one time the the fluid will, will stop okay and uh, yeah it will always work uh, for the velocity diffusion zero and uh, this is this is pretty good now uh, i was wondering how if uh, what how is like having here not water not uh, ink uh, or, or something like this instead uh, more like uh, honey Okay, so now we're talking about uh, viscosity and imagine we have a water and some particles of, of water, right? Like some, some dots, okay? So we have those uh, uh, dots and they can move in uh, whatever direction they, they, they want and they collide with each other and uh, so the, the motion is more jiggling. And now imagine those dots hold their their hands not necessary hands but uh, the uh, a dot will be attached to the one in front and the one to the left and so all of them it will be like a grid okay and if if you try to move that that honey let's say then the neighbors will will move with the same uh, direction okay and and uh, it's like the velocity is uh, evenly distributed with the neighbors and so uh, that average with the neighbors we can uh, we can have it with blur so if we have blur here let's go with 16 okay and uh, yeah this is more uh, more uh, uh, viscous and we go with 32 and uh, it's even more now obviously we can increase the splat force to two or even more and uh, yeah we have this uh, honey okay now what else we can play with uh, with, with this if we change the starting uh, position starting uh, texture okay we reset we have this uh, uh, flower so now we paint uh, we, with this and my first question was uh, how can I have the colors from the picture okay so uh, let's go let's go inside here and we use a select okay and now we select 
the flower and we use it here let's reset and now we we use the the texture and we can mix this uh, uh, fluid as much as uh, you will not recognize the the input and my next question was uh, how can we how can we go back to the initial uh, uh, image okay and my first idea was to to mark the way uh, back home and uh, if I'll have just a little bit of the image use the level with um, opacity let's go with uh, 0 0.1 and I will over this okay um, yeah above above my my uh, uh, simulation and let's try now now we can play with uh, the image and uh, yeah it, it is a little bit blurry and we can uh, take uh, even less of uh, the image let's go uh, zero zero one and uh, yeah it's it's more fluid now and it will go back now the idea is uh, it will not go back to the initial state instead uh, it will go back uh, uh, to to something quite blurry you can easily see it uh, on on a, on a smaller uh, uh, value okay so the result will will, will uh, be uh, uh, blurry how can we have this uh, much 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 nicer okay now for for this i will suggest to replace the the texture color with a uv okay and uh, yeah let's have a, a uv i will uh, connect this constant to have the resolution and uh, i plug in this feedback because yeah is the one that we take here in the split so by doing this let's see now we can uh, uh, yeah we can paint with the uv so this is a an aquarium uh, with the uh, uv colors okay okay now yeah i would i would still want to to uh, see the the photo so uh, let's have a feedback for this photo in case you will use another image uh, and now we go not reorder remap and yeah now the image stays clear and it will go back to to the initial state you see and uh, yeah there's no uh, blurriness because uh, uh, we bring the uv into the the uh, simulation and uh, yeah then we we use it in a in a remap so this is how you how you manipulate a, a photo and uh, in the end you have it uh, you have it back so it uh, would be a nice uh, use uh, with a kinect and sense someone walking uh, that walking will will modify some image or uh, yeah any any input and uh, yeah this was uh, 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 what i wanted to to show you and uh, this file will be available for my patrons in uh, uh, tier uh, three learn and uh, I also have an addition because uh, I was thinking how can we have something similar with the Belusov reaction in, the, in this uh, uh, fluid simulation I would love to to uh, to, to see what what what, what happens so uh, let's go back let's go back to Uh, 
like this. So it's not necessary like this. Let me see. Okay. Now we 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 good. So yeah, I I, I was thinking how to how to make that those those uh, belusov patterns here and uh, yeah eventually i uh, i build a, a component based on uh, those uh, uh, belusov reactions and uh, yeah we can we can have it here and uh, yeah it's it's very fun to play with just one more details right now the splat we will take out from from this noise if we noise the 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 first one we'll have uh, much more variation for the for the colors and so uh yeah now much more chances to oh not like this sorry so instead we we split here one divided by 64 let's say so yeah now we we have a different uh, uh, nozzle and it's a it's a lot more mixture already already there and you can play with with the values uh, uh, obviously so yeah this uh, still has some uh, uh, viscosity uh, caused by by that uh, by that uh, blur and if we take it out uh, yeah and yeah those this was my tutorial I really, really hope you like this and um, thank you so much for, for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already or you can support me on Patreon. You'll get access to a bunch of other tutorials and you will help me going on with my research with uh, computation in textures. Thank you so much and uh, I want to thanks massive to all my Patreons and see you in the next one. Bye.